hello guys welcome into my humble kitchen again what i want to show you today i want to show you an interesting recipe even uh, you know for me in the sense that it's something that we do very very rarely like i don't know maybe once or twice a year because it's a very special ingredient and we use it only in the springtime and uh, uh, that this ingredient you might recognize this type of plant, these leaves, you know, some of you. Uh, this is wild garlic, okay? So, in this weekend, me, my husband and I went to, you know, foraging, you know, having a nice walk. Uh, because it's, you know, it's springtime. It's something that we, oh, so much want to do. And we did find a very nice patch of uh, wild garlic. And I was like, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, you know, uh, have some uh, also what well, we did uh, we did find some um, uh, very healthy young uh, nettle, nettles we did that too but I'm going to show you uh, maybe in another video uh, how to prepare that and uh, what is good for so this is wild uh, garlic I have here like you know a big bunch I just wanted you to to see for those who don't recognize this um, it's you know quite easy because uh, when you just break it Oh, it smells like uh, garlic. It's like a mild garlic, like very gentle, very gentle uh, aroma it has. I like it. I really like it. Um, it can be quite, you know, quite big. This is, you know, my hand and I'm, you know, I'm a big girl. Okay. Um, when you when you have it, you know, you, you, you see these stems, okay? These stems are very good, are healthy. But because this recipe is more like a paste, like a sauce, if you like, uh, this could be a little bit, you know, too hard on, uh, you know, on uh, on the recipe. You can take it like this, yeah. You can use it for pestos or, you know, a stock or something else. You know, you, you don't have to throw it away. You you can do it, but, you know, if you can use it in other recipe, it's, you know, it's good to, to keep them. Uh, also, if the leaf is too big, right, you can also take it from here. You know, just just take it from you know half, and it will just come uh, right out. Yeah, it's a very tender, very tender leaf. Oh my God, the smell here, right? So um, even this one, you see, it's very very small. It you, you know, look at the color. It's so fresh. It's so fresh. Okay, so we'll just take the stems. Um, I have here a bunch. It's um, I already clean it. I already uh, prepare it. And uh, I'm gonna just uh, you know start showing you guys what I do. So first of all, I just I just put a, a little pot, I don't know, maybe two liters of water um, to boil. Uh, I'm gonna boil this for just a couple of minutes uh, because uh, there's no need for you know too much anyway. But because I want this process to be you know faster, I'm just gonna chop them you know roughly. I could I could put them like this, you know how they are. It's just, uh, I just want it to be uh, quicker, you know. I really like simple meals, uh, very nourish, uh, very, uh, you know, good in nourishment and all of that. But I don't want to spend uh, hours and hours in the kitchen. So I'm going to just rough chop this, right? Just, just like that, you know. And just throw it in a pot. My pot is already, uh, already boiling. Um... Uh, because I just wanted to have a, you know, a little bit of advance. I'm not very good at doing these videos. I just like to cook, right? Okay, so I'll just pop it there. I have some more. I don't know if you guys could find uh, this in um, supermarkets. I don't really believe so. I don't think so. Um, here I am, I'm in, uh, you know, in UK, so you cannot find this. In, uh, in shops maybe maybe I never saw it so uh, we can have uh, find it only uh, in the in the woods uh, don't think you have to go in very deep woods no okay I will just um, I put that everything there I put a little bit of salt not too much just to to soften the leaves even even more see nice and easy not too much not too much it's not it's not needed because it's very very tender and 
you don't want to take all the good uh, you know all the good things from from the the leaves and you know to go in the water and then water you throw it away so what for so yeah i don't know what you guys see but anyway this is gonna boil for just well a minute maximum two and um what i'm gonna put is because this uh plant has already uh you know the smell and uh, um, the taste of garlic it is called wild garlic in english in my um <clears throat> In my native language, uh, it's called uh, leurda or uh, the garlic of the bears, right? So, yeah, bears, uh, supposedly in Romania, they do love uh, uh, garlic as well. All right, so because it's green, I always like to, to put something, you know, a pop of color. In this case, I'm just going to put a little bit of, um, this is pepper, capia, we call it. Uh, this is actually the pepper that uh, Hungarian people, they do with paprika. Yeah, so I kind of know. So I'm just going to put just a couple of... I don't mind this, you know. This is a very real kitchen. Yeah, just like that. Not too much. I'm just preparing because after I uh, I boil this and uh, I'll show you how we're going to prepare. I'm just going to pop it in, uh, in a pan. You'll see. It's very easy. Yeah. It can be small or big, really doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, it's boiling. Oh, the smell. It's very mild and delicate. I like it, you know. This we do uh, usually in the springtime, as I told you, um, because it's a very natural product, right? And uh, is uh, associated with uh, uh, Easter. In my country because you know it's like a spring spring dish it's very light yeah okay so this is almost done yeah I don't know if you can see but it's just softened yes it's not like you see I don't know where are you like that yeah then uh, because it's not boiled very very strong and very aggressive the color is quite nice, isn't it? It's quite green, right? Because I see when I do spinach, I like spinach very much, right? Um, it tends to change its color, right? But this has a very vibrant um, color. And the smell is garlicky and herbal and, you know, I like it. It reminds me of my childhood back in a very, very small homestead somewhere in Transylvania okay so um, now I'll take uh, this to to the sink uh, to prepare it and bring it back meanwhile look until I do this I'm just gonna put a pan here right and I don't know a couple of uh, spoons of uh, oil whatever oil you have whatever oil you prefer maybe you have peanut oil or something you want a different layer of uh, 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 aroma but uh, this is what uh, usually I use so I'm gonna use this uh, uh, there. okay so this is gonna you know do its thing I come back yeah very easy very easy recipe very simple and uh, <clears throat> the fact that it's uh, it's traditional for us, uh, it's more important because it uh, it brings us uh, good memories from you know childhood, and uh, we create memories as well, right? So this will do uh, its thing. Uh, I'm gonna just pop this um, paprika over there, yeah, yeah, not uh, again, not very fancy. I don't have time for fancy. Right, so it will do its thing here. Yeah, slow, slow cooking is the best, you know, even if you fry something, right? Okay, hold on. Because it has the smell of the garlic, is no need for onion, not uh, not for me anyway. You, you can do it if you like. Um, but it's not necessary. In, in traditional, you know, people in the countryside, 
they didn't put so many uh, vegetables and you know they were very simple this is what i like about our kitchen and our kind of cooking yeah nice yeah on top of this i'm just gonna put maybe you're gonna be surprised maybe not i don't know it's a spoon of flour yes so this is just flour single flour usually in my kitchen i use um flour that is made made for bread you know not those that are made for all sorts of cookies and you know because this is gonna help to to make a nice uh, sauce thick sauce if you like right so i'm gonna put the fire the heat a little bit lower and i'm gonna add just a little bit of milk not too much because i don't want to have clumps and keep on stirring yeah because it's gonna thicken oh look at that color because because this type of pepper you know um it gives this lovely color you see i didn't put anything else uh, but uh, a little bit of flour and the pepper and look at that color I didn't put salt, I didn't put anything yet <laughs> I'm going to yeah it's a little bit more anyway, I'm going to add uh, the wild garlic just, just in a second so as you can see, I'm just going to add it here yeah slowly i don't want it to splash yeah that's all right yeah and i'm just gonna let it boil here you know like a little bit slower now until my sauce is all right i know it might look you know interesting i would say for some people but we love it we love it because this you can actually if you're a vegetarian or something you can just have it like so you know like um like main course but also as we do it we just have it as a side dish so yeah i'm just gonna put it high again uh for those two bunches that i have here i prepare like you know half a liter of milk uh, if you like to put sour cream, you can put a little bit at the end. Uh, so, you know, you, you can play with it if you like. But um, now I just do, I want to do it with, uh, with milk. Oh my God, the smell is so nice. So I'm going to put just a tiny, you know, tiny. <laughs> Not that tiny splash of black pepper. You could do red pepper, white pepper, whatever pepper you use, fresh ground, whatever, All right? And we salt, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna taste it in just a second because I did put some uh, salt in the water. If you if you remember, guys, so uh, you know I need to to be careful with the salt, especially for me, because you know my health issues are in bloom so therefore i need to be very careful with the salt but you know salt you can always add later now so i'm gonna let, uh, leave this to boil as in really boil you know for everything to thicken and all the uh, taste uh, and flavors to to mix but it's actually done it's actually done i'm done cooking right I just uh, boil it, fry it a little bit, uh, you know, the the paprika, add a little bit of uh, flour to thicken, add the plant, season, and that's it, right? It's very tasty. Because, mind you, this plant, now, I'm cooking it, right? But because it's a, it's a green, you actually can add it to, to salads, you can make uh, pestos, you can do all sorts. Uh, I don't know, you can add it like to a cream cheese, 
just like it is right you don't need you don't have to cook it in order to, to eat it and enjoy uh, all the benefits of it i do understand it's very good for detox right and um it contains all of all of iron you know like you know spinach um yeah and it's uh it's pretty yeah it is pretty i have some more but um because it's it's a plant for uh you know springtime season only in season um i boil it like i showed you here and uh I keep it in a freezer you know like make little portions and keep it in the freezer so we could enjoy it you know later in the summertime when you know because we do have this option now but uh, my grandparents uh, they did not have this option of uh, you know preserving uh, in this way all right so this will gonna boil and then we're gonna just serve it yeah so let me clean up a little bit here and show you the end product now actually i don't want to leave it alone because of the flour i'm afraid it's not it's you know it's gonna stick to the pan even this one it says hey it's a non-stick pan i don't know i have it from for quite some time now so but it's good oh let me taste it hold on i don't do you know recipes with uh, oh uh, this much uh, salt uh, grams and you know liters and stuff like that i, I just i just do it mm. very good I'm sure you would love to be here, but you can do it yourself. Oh, it's so good. Oh, guys, I, I hope you like uh, you like this recipe. I'm going to finish off without because I'm still learning how to add it. So, you know, if you do like it, just tell me. And uh, I don't know, give me some more ideas. Or maybe you have a recipe, maybe something that's traditional in your country. Or, I don't know, give me some more ideas. Because, hmm, I'm learning still. I'm still learning. Okay, see you guys. Thank you. Cheers.